are sitting over here at the scale. We got a big oversized unit right sitting right beside me here. And I just had to take a leak and clean my uh, windows, or not really my windows, but my mirror, especially the driver's side up here was all uh, iced up. We got a little bit of ice rain again. I'll show you guys here real quick. You guys can probably see. Got quite a bit of ice rain there again. My uh, my mirror was all iced up, so I figured I'd clean it, you know. But we have uh, left a little while ago already. We're just at the Ontario border, so we will go get going here. So we'll see you down the road. I just stopped up here and dried in Ontario, and uh, just finished cleaning my mirror. And I want to show you this. This is all ice on my mirror. Yep. I think I'm gonna start calling myself ice road trucker. I'm gonna be an ice road trucker, I think. Because I get ice uh, rain every week, it feels like, you know? The whole truck is covered in ice again, so. Anyways, we just had ourselves a pit stop up here, so we will get going. I didn't get anything filmed here on the road yet because it's too dangerous when you get ice rain like that, so here we go. We'll get back on the road and uh, just stopped uh, ice raining here a little bit, a little bit ago. So we'll see uh, if it completely stops uh, the further east we go. We'll see. Maybe get dry roads again. You know. Well, we are certainly getting better roads now, so we can be back up to cruising speed again. As you can see, it's pretty white up here, but hey, at least it stopped ice raining. Uh, it's nice again the roads are pretty good now we uh, we have no slush on the road no more everything is good we're putting the hammer down we're on our way to uh, Barrie Ontario which is about uh, an hour north of uh, Toronto so we'll be delivering there Friday morning at least that's what the plan is Yep, probably have to drive another 300 uh, kilometers today or probably three and a half hours to four hours of driving today so that way we can make it there tomorrow. We're supposed to be there for 8 a.m. in the morning. So we're going to have to put the hammer down. Well, 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 we are in Nipigon and as you can probably see, we grabbed ourselves a Tim Hortons cup of coffee and uh, just finished filling out my log book and it is snowing up here yes you're probably going to be able to see everything is covered everything is white so and we got to go back in this stuff because i got to do some miles yet today otherwise i can't make it there by tomorrow so well yes we're gonna have to do it well i would say welcome to my weather up here in canada i hope you guys have it better where you are at this moment uh, i just figured i would show you guys a little bit and what kind of conditions i drive in now yeah, it's probably going to turn into a darker video right now i have to turn on my spotlights for oncoming traffic but here we go again oh you should be able to see that a little bit better and it is windy up here and snowing the road is pretty much covered in snow and it's dark and well we got to continue we got to continue right now because where are you going to pull over to stay for overnight right well, that certainly ain't here. There ain't nothing up here for another hour before I can even pull over. So, uh, we have no other choice than to uh, continue driving. And we shall just take her easy and watch the corners. This is what I'm talking about. Corners, corners. Yep. And right on the other side of the highway, you got Rockies. You got rocks right there so you don't want to slide out in this uh, on this highway here that's for sure because uh, you will be sliding into the rocks if you do that 
and that ain't going to be pretty. I guarantee you that. I've seen that on this on this highway here a few times. And that is not a pretty scene when you hit those rocks, you know. Oh well, what can you do? Life goes on. Well, I know there ain't going to be that much light out here today, but uh, I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit. As you can probably see, we got lots of snow up here. And the truck stop is pretty much full over there. So I made myself my own parking lot. Probably a little bit dark out here, but hey, what can you do, you know? I just figured I know it's gonna be a little bit windy up here, but I backed it right in over here and we should be able to stay here for overnight and then uh, we'll continue on tomorrow with our journey. So thanks for watching. We will see you again tomorrow.